me to checking in with you this morning. I just wanted to talk to you about something real quick while I was on my mind. You know, everything or every relationship that I have built up to this point, I built it on spending money. Like, I spent my money to build these relationships. Like, the more I think about it, like, this is no BS. I spent money. I invested in other people's visions, business ideas, in order for them to uh, help me with what I got going on. And then we end up building some decent friendships. You see what I'm saying? But it was all off of money I spent. They invested. I invested. But it wasn't just, all oh, we just cool. You know what I'm saying? That Oh, it's just my partner. Ain't none of that. I moved to Phoenix, Arizona. No friends. No family. No associates. No no one to say, hey, man, if things don't work out, can I come over here and catch your couch? None of that. I had to figure it out myself. But I'm going to be real with you. Uh, Why well, I got a moment because it was on my mind yesterday. And I just want to tell you about a few relationships that I've built since I've been in Phoenix because I only built a few. But these few relationships are very valuable to me. And um, I'm actually not even going to throw their names out there. But I will say, one of the guys that I built a relationship with was my RV guy. And he got a company here in Phoenix and Scottsdale and surrounding areas. It's called Ross Mobile. Now, I met Ross Mobile, um, moved here to the Phoenix. I was looking for somebody to network with. I called him. Out of all the people I called, I noticed he was black. So that was a plus. I really wasn't trying to beat him on his bread. I said, hey, this is what I got going. How much for your time? He was like, X amount of dollars. I come out. I'm like, cool. I agreed to it. He came out. He helped me. I paid him. We end up getting cool. He said, hey, man, I be having sad stuff. Sometimes I need some help. You might make some sad money. I'm like, yeah. So I helped him. He helped me. We eat. So that's how I built that relationship. But it wasn't because I asked for something, looking for handouts, wanting somebody to just do something for me. Nah, we was networking. Now, I got another guy that I associate with. His name is Ramon. Good little partner of mine. We don't even talk that much, but he's the maintenance guy in the RV park. Cool guy. Now, he didn't help me. I didn't help him. Now that he sees that I'm a welding fabricator, they have things come up all the time. He'd be like, hey, man, we at this park over here. We got this thing that's broken of this. Could you think you can come over here and fix it? Now we networking all the time. I help them. They help me. But it wasn't a relationship like, uh, oh, man, I knew this guy. He owed me something. Nah, they don't owe me nothing. My work ethics built these relationships. Another relationship that I built, you know what I mean? A guy at the bank, Sean, you know what I mean? I go to the bank. Get my business account started, all this good stuff. I meet this guy in there, help me set my accounts up. We end up being cool. He coming out to shows. I go out and network with him. You know, we network with one another. But it wasn't something that he owed me, I owe him. You know what I mean? It was just a mutual networking. You know, we had uh, two mutual interests, actually. You know, loving hip-hop, uh, being independent, wanting to do something major with our lives. So, you know, we had some common ground to communicate on. You see what I'm saying? And then I have a um, a manager of a welding supply store. I network with dude, super cool. I go in and spend money with him. I started a business account. He seen me spending money. He seen me, you know, on my grind doing different things, on you know, striving to be independent. And he he liked it. He said, man, any way I can help you, let me know. So I go in there. You know, I need this or hey, could you? Let me throw a couple cards in here. Hey, do you know someone? He said, hey, man, no problem. You know, no problem. Anything I can do to help assist what you got going on. Because, for one, I'm bringing business to him. And he knows the more businesses or the more business I get, I'm going to come back and network with him. And get supplies. You see what I'm saying? All of this is a hustle. All of this is networking. But won't none of these, wouldn't none of these relationships built on um, me feeling they owe me something they feeling I owe them something. We started networking. You see what I'm saying? And this is no BS. And I just wanted to give an example um, of how you have to spend your money to build some good relationships. Because at the end of the day, it might not be about the money. But y'all have built a bond. And he know that you believe in your brand just like you know he believe in yours. Vice versa. Y'all helping one another out. And companies, independent people don't mind helping nobody they don't mind helping themselves get that i don't mind helping you if you don't mind helping you but if you got a lot of excuses and say 
this is wrong, this wrong, this wrong. I can't do this. Hey, man, this stuff ain't fair, bro. We know it's hard. We know it ain't fair. We know it's prejudice, bias, racism. We know all of this bigotry. We know all of this is going on. But still, we got to survive. Still, we here in this land. Still, we got bills to pay. You see what I'm saying? So we got to figure out a way to work around it. And that's what Phoenix has taught me to do. You know what I mean? Phoenix has taught me to think outside of the box and to create my own lane. I had a guy tell me one time, he said, Phoenix, if they don't open up the door for you, or they won't open up the door for you, create your own lane. That way they have to come to you and say, can we get in? Is it enough room in there? Can, can I have a seat? You see what I'm saying? Once you become an asset, once you come with something that is valuable that you can bring to the table, then you're not looking for handouts. You ain't worried about if someone like you or not, someone like your post or not. You don't care because you know the reality. They looking for something, searching for something that you already got. You see what I'm saying? So now, I'm in just in a situation now where I just want to give back. So when I drop videos on my welding and Hip Hop 101, um, I do that to encourage someone that maybe got the idea to think that he couldn't do it or she couldn't do it, but you can. You just needed someone to look like me. and say, man, if this dude can do it, surely I can. You know? So I just want you to look at me as an example. I'm black. I'm a felon. I'm from the hood. I'm an ex game banger. All that stuff. And I'm out here owning my business. Got my LLC business license. Doing everything legit. And I came from nothing. I had to educate myself. So miss me with all of the excuses. Yeah, I know it's hard out here. But we can still make it happen. Just think outside of the box. Hold on.